In this video, we will guide you through the process of creating an iModel using an SP file in Synchro. Let's get started. To begin, navigate to the administration section of Synchro. From here, select Manage iModel. Once you're in the Manage iModel section, click on New. Here, you'll have the option to enter the project name and provide a description if needed. Now, let's add the SP file. You can either browse for the file or simply drag and drop it into the Select File window. Here's an important step. Check the box that says Set up this iModel for scheduling service. This will establish a connection between Control, Field, and 4D. Once created, you can open this iModel in Synchro 4D. It's a powerful way to set up a scheduling repository for collaborative workflows. Before proceeding, choose the version of Synchro 4D that you want this iModel to be created with, then select the Create option. For larger SP files, please be patient as the conversion process may take some time. After creation, take a look at the iModel container. You'll notice it's marked as primary and 4D. Primary indicates that this is the first iModel created, while 4D signifies that it's set up for scheduling service in Synchro 4D. Once the blue status bar disappears, a created and synced timestamp appears under the iModel name. This signals that your iModel is ready. The newly created iModel can be opened in Synchro 4D to explore its contents and functionalities. Keep in mind that while a Synchro control project supports multiple iModels, only one can be set up for scheduling service at a time. If you need to upload a new SP file for any reason, it will become the new 4D iModel. The previous iModel will no longer be accessible by 4D, and any forms linked to the old model will be unlinked. And there you have it. You've successfully learned how to create and manage iModels using SP files in Synchro.